In the Seymour HMI, you might need to capture a screen so you can evaluate what is happening in your process. So I have this screen that is detailing the running state of my process. And I've created this push button and I want to use this to trigger capturing my screen. I applied this internal discrete tag that is in my Seymour HMI to this push button. To create the screen capture action, go into your Event Manager database from here, select Add an Event, give this event a name, apply the tag that you want to trigger the screen capture event with, and of course I'm using the tag that I applied to my push button, come down here and select the default alarm action and delete it. Select to Add an Action, and then select the Screen Capture action. You can select to capture the current screen that is being displayed or select some other screen. I'm wanting to capture my running status screen, which is screen three. So I will select other screen and select screen three. By default, screen captures get saved to the log folder under the SD1 card. If you'd like to change the storage location, Open up your panel manager, and change this setting. If you'd like to add some organization for these files, you can place a subfolder name here, and then give this screen capture file a name. If you want to store multiples of these screen captures for later evaluation, you'll need to select this option. If you do not select this option, it'll just overwrite the previous screen capture. If you do select this option, it will pin the file name with the time at which the screen was captured. Last thing here is you can set the image quality of the capture. By using this, you'll be able to save more storage space on your drive. I find the default works fine for me. It doesn't eat up too much storage space. Typically, a file size for a 12-inch screen at 60% is around 50 kilobytes. Once you have that set up, select Add, and then select Close. And here is a screen capture event we just created. To show an example of this operation, I'll run the simulate in the Seymour HMI. Select the panel size you want to display on. I'm going to navigate to screen 3 and hit my screen capture push button a few times. Now I'm going to open up my virtual SD1 card location from here, and you can see the screen captures. Quick and easy. Seymour keeps proving why it's the best value in HMIs. If you have any questions on this process, please feel free to comment below or call into our free technical support department. Select here to see more on the Seymour line and select here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with our products and solutions.